Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting the Quisitor hailing from Denmark with Humanoid. This is six new songs. I saw that they called this an EP, so the Humanoid EP on Extremely Rotten Productions when it comes to the cassette. Night Shroud did the vinyl. Dark Descent did the CD. There we go. I got it. <laughs> and this was recorded in Copenhagen at No Master's Voice Studio, April 2020. Killer, killer artwork by MF Jorg. And Dequisitor, in case you do not know, one of my favorite Killtown death metal bands have been for a very long time. If you've been watching this channel, you've known since the self-titled, we've gone over every Dequisitor release I can possibly get, including the Killtown rehearsal 2018. 2017 promo the last full length which is still some of my favorite Dequisitor material towards our impending doom and the LP of uh, of course I'm gonna forget without fucking looking at it and I don't have it in my hand downfall of the apostates so I'm a big Dequisitor fan and hearing them go from the self-titled to where they are now is fucking awesome because they've just not only like up to the production and songwriting it's just listen First off, heavy, heavy fucking hails to Daniel. Daniel does um, bass and secondary vocals and guitar and vocals. We have Thomas FJ and uh, Henrik on drums. Daniel is an awesome fucking individual. And uh, yeah, if you don't know Daniel, just look into the Kill Town booking scene, Kill Town Death Fest, just Kill Town metal period. He's one of those dudes alongside Dave, Tuna, and you know, a handful of other gnarly dudes that are in a handful of Copenhagen death metal bands that make up what is Kill Town and Extremely Rotten Productions alongside Night Shroud Productions are two of, in my opinion, the sickest like labels in the underground. And I just think it's fucking awesome having, you know, a couple of really sick record labels right now coming out of Denmark. And I'm not just saying this because a Cursed Womb is on Molten Face Records, but their lineup, it's pretty fucking badass. Like, the new Skull Maggot, Kill, or Kill and Die, if you want the European copy, get it from Molten Face. They did the first press of my band's demo compilation. And we still have copies of the second press American version. 
but you can only get this color from the Verminosis website or Life After Death. They have copies of the womb variant. Otherwise, you get the Crystal Mountain clear shells. And we only have a couple of those left, so yeah. I have to send some heavy hails to just extremely rotten in general for carrying a cursed womb and I saw that we're out of stock at ERP right now so that's awesome thank you Copenhagen for supporting a cursed womb but the Quisitor play classic death metal infused with that kill town filth but it's not too filthy the production is like dialed and it just creates killer fucking death metal. Inquisitor, like I was saying, they're one of those bands I've heard just grow over time and they just keep getting better and better and better. Like, this EP is fan fucking tastic. I mean, let me real quick see how many songs were on uh, Towards Our Impending Doom. So I think it might have been like 12 or uh, 9. All right, so nine make up a full length for Dequisitor. I forget how many tracks are on Downfall of the Apostates. The LP's like right in here. I just don't want to look like a goon searching for it. Dippy Gus, it's in there. I... Anyways, though, uh, I really feel like Humanoid, this is some of Dequisitor's best material. It's fucking sick. It's everything you could possibly be looking for when it comes to just classic, well-written death metal. And coming from one of the best scenes when it comes to extreme music and especially death metal. Yeah, Dequisitor killing it right now. And if you go back and listen to the self-titled... You can really, really hear. Yeah, the self-titled had, had 12 tracks making up this bad boy. This is the head split version. And I remember, like, when I first heard this, it just blew me away. Like, it sounded so like, original yet familiar. And like I said, they're one of those bands I just kind of kept following and following. Same with, like, Topos and uh, Sulfurous. Engulfed also, I feel like Engulfed is one of the most underrated bands in death metal right now. Rest in power, Timo Cotola. But, Dequisitor, fuck yeah. I really hope one day we get like a straight up Kill Town tour in America. Bring Dequisitor, Winda Gang, Frenolith, and Kaoten, And, you know... Then maybe do like a volume two and get like Burial Invocation, Engulfed, and Hyperdontia. Because I think that's Turkey. I'm not positive though. I kind of forget. I know some individuals moved. But I think Mustafa moved to Kill Town. But I'm not positive. But that would be so fucking cool, I think. Like... If Kill Town Booking could somehow, like, get, you know, on one tour, like I was saying, like, Sulfurous, Topos, Dequisitor, Ascendancy, with, like, Frenolith headlining, and then the next tour, get, like, Windagang, Gorphelia, and, like, Burial Invocation, or Hyperdontia, 
I just think that that would be fucking cool. But I really want to see the Inquisitor in a live setting, and I really like seeing them build up their discography with strength with each release. Because when it comes to the Inquisitor, there's not a release where I can be like, well, you could skip that one. I kind of feel like their whole entire catalog, it's 100% worth your fucking time because it's going to rip your fucking head off in some way, shape, or form if you're a fan of death metal done correctly. And what I mean by correctly, you know, you can do whatever you want when it comes to any subgenre or genre of music, but... When you're playing off a certain style, and that certain style, as much as I hate the term old school death metal, I like calling it classic death metal, you know, you'll see the term OSDM and Dequisitor, like, right next to one another, and, you know, they do have that classic sound, and I think they just dialed it the fuck in here with Humanoid and really made this, like, killer modern slab of classic sounding death metal but it just so happens to be from kill town and also have a little bit of american influence as well as that very distinctive kill town influence and it just equals out to this just killer fucking slab of death metal the inquisitor and the humanoid ep Extremely Rotten Productions, Dark Descent Records, and Night Shroud Records have you covered. This is available on 12 inches of wax, and I'm sure it's fucking fantastic. But summertime, death metal, and cassettes are always a good time. But hopefully my Cerebral Rot LP gets here soon. The cassette has been being played a lot. Great fucking record. I just can't wait to play the 12 inch. And I know you folks have been waiting. It's coming. Don't worry. We'll get there, folks. There's a couple LPs I have to go over. And there's still, I'm looking at a pile of cassettes that I need to go over. But I've been putting this one off. And I didn't mean to. Because I really fucking love this. And I was being biased at first. I was like, oh, it's the Inquisitor. Like, I just knew it was going to be badass. And I legit didn't know it was going to be this badass. Because this fucking rules. The Inquisitor, humanoid, fucking A. Like I said, they're one of those bands that just get better and better and better as time goes on. It's fucking sick. But as always, thanks for, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thank you again to Jack for sending this my way. I appreciate it. He sent a bunch of Kill Town stuff over, and that's always a fucking treat. That's how we got to go over uh, the Engulfed EP, the new Chaotin EP, and the new Dequisitor EP. That's a lot of EPs, but nothing wrong with that. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Sorry, yesterday's video is flagged at 18 and up. I have nothing to do with that. It's out of my fucking hands, and it kind of sucks. Because I worked kind of hard on that video. Um, eating food I don't really, you know, normally eat, but it was delicious. So that was what was good about it. It was actually really fucking good. But you have to either be... Well, you should be 18 anyway to even watch my channel. That's how I have it set up. But I guess... YouTube... They, they hate me. It's like, you know, whatever. Sorry I curse on your fucking platform. God forbid, you know. But, uh, yeah. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. If you can watch yesterday's snack time video, please do watch it because it was fun to make. Those potato chips were delicious. And yeah, I just have to say, check it out. And um, 
yeah. Listen to the Inquisitor, and, you know, if you're physically able to, bang your fucking head into oblivion. It's one of those releases where it's hard not to headbang. But, like I was saying, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails. Yeah.